Hey, welcome back, everybody. This week, we're going to talk about the Guess Who and their song Undone, which was released in 1969. It's one of those songs that you hear on classic radio all the time, and it always stands out and jumps right out at you at the very beginning with this great intro, and you're always like, God, I wish I, mm, wish I could learn that, and today you're going to learn it. Um, so it was written by um, Randy Bachman, um, and the guitarist in the band, and I believe this one he wrote on his own and brought it to the band. Um, Randy Bachman also went on to front uh, another great rock band in the 70s, Bachman Turner Overdrive, taking care of business, you may know that. Um, <clears throat> but there's a great video of Randy, I'll link it right here, where he actually talks about the process of writing the song. Um, and, uh, you know, he actually has, this, there's specific music books that he was reading at the time, and he has those on there. And um, uh, he, he just attributes a lot of this as, ex, as you know, experimenting with different chord variations, which he saw in these books. And so, you know, rather than always playing the standard sort of chord sequences that you tended to hear, um, it was introduction of some other sort of jazzy chord phrasings. And so that's how um, the song and how he approached the playing of it um, came about. So um, when you're done watching this, Go ahead and watch uh, Randy talk about that um, as well. And you see him play it a little bit. And um, though he has some of those chords wrong in the video, I have to say, I love you, Randy, but there's whoever put your little chord pictures up in some places, it was a little wrong. <clears throat> but hopefully I'll, have them, I'll get them all right um, here. So hey, listen, if you haven't already, go right down here, click subscribe and ring the bell. And um, it'll let you know every single time I'm dropping new content, lessons like this, which I do every single week. And let me know in the comments if there's a song that you want me to take on. Um, in fact, this was a song that somebody had suggested. Um, so uh, love, for, love to be able to see some new ideas and uh, get your song on here. Okay, so we're going to tackle um, that great intro. We're going to talk about the verse chords. Um, the sort of variations that he has on there. There's a great little um, bridge section, which we'll do, and then um, the outro. There's a very very small variation that we do on the outro of the song um, that's slightly different than the rest of it. So we'll cover all of that, all right? And as always, all my stuff is all linked across the bottom. So if you want to jump across, jump ahead, just hover your mouse around the vertical scroll, red scroll bar there, and you can see... Um, and jump to any part of the lesson that you want. Obviously, he's playing with fingers. Um, in terms of getting your tone, sounds very... I know he played Gretsch's a lot, and I've seen early videos of him playing old 6120s, so hollow body, dual pickup. This is sort of the closest I've got to that in terms of tone. But this song will sound great on any guitar. Okay, the intro. <clears throat> All right, so the intro is... Like I said, it's fascinating. It jumps right out at you um, when you hear it on radio. Um, and uh, because it's a dissonant chord thing that you don't hear in, in rock music a lot. Um, so what this is, is basically um, think of a C chord, a C bar chord that you hear, have up here on the eighth fret. But instead of fretting the whole thing, you're going to do a thumb over to get the, um, to get the root note. You're going to fret you know, your normal C triad there, but you're going to flatten the fifth. So instead of that note, you're going to get that note, but everything else stays the same. And here's a picture of it. So there's that dissonant, right? Which is a C flat five, I think. And then it resolves down to a B. So you're, you're keeping that finger there and you're sliding everything else down to your normal B, right? So that's that movement. The last part of the phrase is a harmonic on the B string at 12th fret, right? So it's... <laughs> 
as I poorly do the thumb over. But those are the positions, right? Here's your C, flat five, down to your B, and your B harmonic. So that's the intro. That alone, uh, if you haven't attempted those before, um, it's going to take a while to, to get you there because that whole getting that thumb over clean is not easy to do. And when you jump up and do the B harmonic, sometimes you hit it, sometimes you don't. But like that. So that's the part anyway. All right, now let's go into the verse, the verse chords. So <clears throat> as Randy talks about it on his video too, um, he, he is sort of bouncing back and forth between a number of different variations um, in a couple places on here. Um, but the chords, as we're going through the first part of the verse, is an E minor seven, an A, but I think it's an A seven, because you actually still hold on to that note. So it's G. So that's the constant between those three chords, is that G note. The G note is here. The G note is still here with your A7. And the G note is here on the G. Then you move down to a F sharp minor seven and here's where there's a couple different ways that you can play this um, there's one uh, here's one or you can do something like that or a combination of the two but it's an F minor F sharp minor seven to a B and then F sharp minor seven again either one of the variations, up to an A minor seven. So you can take the exact same fingering um, that you have, whatever you're doing for your F minor seven, it could be this, it could be this, it could be this, uh, sorry. And you slide it up to the fifth fret. So, which is, there's an A minor seven. There's an A minor seven. There's an A minor 7. All different chord variations, and he talks about mixing all of them, right? So here's one with the basic bar chord. And then you end on your G. That's the turnaround. So that's a C7 add 9, I think, to a B7 add 9. Right? Okay, so the second go round is similar but a little bit different. Um, when we get to that F sharp minor 7 part, instead of going down here, we're going to play it up here. But it starts out the same. Now we go up to our B. Right? So that's just a chromatic climb up to A minor 7. And then you can land on G or G major 7. Regular G will work too. And you're back to your dissonant part. And then you go around again. So getting used to both of those variations, or even mixing those variations, it sounds fantastic however you do it. So really this is one where you just want to play around with those chords and just land wherever. You know, I like to mix it up.
so on. So on the record, he plays that lower F sharp sequence down here on the first part of the verse and then up here on the second part of the verse. Um, but feel free to mix all that up. Um, and then we move into a bridge section. So the bridge section is really interesting because um, it's the James Bond theme, basically. It's the background to that. So the chords that are happening there are an E minor, a C, and then you just move that C formation up uh, one fret, but you mute this D string. So don't don't play that one. Right? So, but he doesn't play it as chords, but he'll start with the B, uh, the fifth string. So you're playing the fifth string, third, second, and first with that little picking pattern. So slowly. So you're making an octave on the between the fifth string and the second string. Just playing the other G and E strings open, right? <clears throat> so that's, but you can hear the James Bond theme. Right. So that's the um, that's the uh, bridge section. That's all there is to it. And you can hear Burton Cummings, the singer, he hits that, every time that E string hits, he's doing a vocal scat uh, uh, emphasis, right? Right? So um, those match up. All right. So after that, um, it does one more and then another verse. Um, and uh, the only thing that's different now is the outro. So, um, so the outro just introduces one more new chord into the sequence, um, but it falls something like this. F sharp minor seven, any one of those that you were doing. And then here's a new chord, it's an F major seven. And then it ends on a big E minor up at 12. Right? So you're just doing this walk down, this chromatic walk down from F sharp to F to E minor. So in full context, and that's it. So that is Undone by the great Guess Who, written by the great Randy Bachman. Although I think in his video he refers to himself as Randy Bachman. So I guess he's Randy Bachman. Um, but uh, great tune. Um, I never really sat down fully with this until now, so I learned something new, and I hope you learned something new too. Great little tune, great little parts, some intricate things in there, a little bit, few stretches of your fingers that might not be, um, that might be new for you, some are new to me. So that's all good stuff. All right, so if you haven't already, I'd love if you can go down and click subscribe and ring the bell. Um, it lets you know every single time I drop content, which I do every week. And let me know in the comments if there's a song you want me to take on, and maybe next week's lesson will be yours. Um, love this song, Undone. I never really sat down with this fully until, you know, I just did this for the lesson. And um, I learned some new stuff. I hope you did too. 
Um, so until next week, take care, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.